Hi YouTube, it's uh, Enamga for again with the Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, running Android Gingerbread 2.3.6 uh, This one is currently uh, rooted and it has uh, a super user access um, What I'm going to show you in this video is how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, as a recovery console on this device At the moment it, this one's just got the standard um, recovery console that comes with um, the Android operating system and I'll just show you what that is to get into recovery mode all you do is the phone's off so volume up, home and then power together hold them down until it takes you to the recovery console screen so you've got the yellow triangle just confirming that the phone's rooted again I'm still keeping all the buttons pressed down until it gets to the correct screen for some reason it goes through this process twice but there you go See, um, I'll just bring this in so you can see it You can see it says Android System Recovery in brackets 3E, and the only options it gives you are Reboot System Now, Apply Update from SD Card, Wipe Data slash Factory Reset, and Wipe Cache Partition. Those are the only options in Recovery Console on the standard Android um, root system recovery. So what I'm going to do, I'll just select the Home button to reboot the system now. Um, now the reason why I want to install Clockwork Mod Recovery is so that I can do a system image of the phone via backup utility basically. Uh, and that's called, uh, the process is called Nandroid. Uh, now just to give you a little bit of background of that, if you've got like um, folders set up on uh, on the device with your applications in certain folders and you've got, you've got your phone set up exactly how you want it. Some um, backup utilities out there um, don't back up absolutely everything or like the way you've got your icons set up on your home screens or play out on your application screens if you've got those in grouped in a uh, certain folders and whatnot those don't pick, restore them in the same way but if you do a system image of the device then um, once you restore that image it will put your apps and everything that you had in the folders back as they were so if you're like anything like me where you play around with a phone and you put custom firmwares on it uh, and bas basically you don't want to go through the hassle of reinstalling all your apps uh, I'm just going to turn this off you don't want to go through the hassle of turning and downloading all your apps and putting them in the correct locations there again and setting up the phone every time you play around with it this is a good way to revert your phone back to uh, the backup that you did and I'm going to show you that in another video but this is how you can install the clockwork mod recovery on this uh, on a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2 so first of all what we need to do is on this one get into download mode and the phone's now off so to get into download mode what you do is press volume down home and then power together until you get into the download mode so I'm going to, again I'm going to keep them held down there you go and then I'll press volume up to confirm the warning that we're downloading a custom ROM there you go that's in download mode okay so I'm just going to connect the phone up via USB there you go and what we'll do now is we'll just move over to the computer now that we're on um, the computer you're going to need a couple of things you're going to need to load up Odin first of all um, let me just get that loaded up first there you go that will do okay there you go you got the yellow box there just confirming uh, that the phone here is still connected I've already downloaded the clockwork mod recovery tar file there it is in the background on the desktop I will put a link in the description of where you can download this from um, and it's the version 4.0.0.2 all we need to do is leave the standard checkboxes as they are auto reboot and reset time ticked do not tick any of the others okay put a tick next to where it says PDA click on the PDA button and then navigate to where you've just downloaded the clockwork mod recovery file as I say I'll put it on the desktop so I'll just navigate to that and uh, select it and then hit open and then we'll hit start you can see it started the process there and it's flashed it already there the phone's already downloaded it all 
the phone's already downloaded it all and it's going to reboot. Odin has already got green pass there, so we're done with Odin. We can disconnect now. We'll go back to the phone. We'll let that come back up. To check that Clockwork Mod Recovery has been installed, what we're going to do, I'm just going to turn off the phone straight away. Just going to the only way we can tell clockwork mod recovery has been installed fully is to get it into the recovery mode okay so the phone's vibrated just symbolizing that it's off now so again to get it into recovery mode volume up home button and then power together hold them in until uh, you get the recovery mode console window so the phone's still rooted because it's got the yellow triangle still holding them all down because as I say, go through this process twice. Okay, there you go, that's what we're after. If I just bring that near the screen. See, you see how it's different? You've got Clockwork Mod Recovery at the top and the version number. Gives you reboot system now. And with this custom recovery console, you've got reboot system now. Apply update from SD card. Wipe data factory reset wipe cache partition install zip from SD card backup and restore mount mounts and storage advanced power off and go back and that's how you install clockwork mod recovery um, on the Samsung Galaxy S2 with a rooted ROM uh, any questions do comment below in the section there um, please click subscribe from the button above, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything and you can check out some of my forthcoming videos. This video has been on how to install the Clockwork Mod Recovery via Odin, which I think is the most secure method. There are a couple of methods out there where you can download ROM Manager and um, download a recovery console via that method, but that comes up with error messages quite on f quite a few users' devices. So. I prefer this method as it's a lot more straightforward and it's very minimal in terms of anything that may go wrong. Um, but any questions, as I said, do comment below. Um, and that's it. That's how you install Clockwork Mod Recovery on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.